Hi guys, it's Robert Brand here from WP Central. This is a video overview of the Nokia Lumia 820. Uh, the version that we've got here is uh, the white version. It's a it's a it's a white finish, um, but it's it's actually matte. It's not it's not glossy like the uh, the Lumia 920. Um, the actual case that is on this one is the wireless charging case, so you can. You can charge the device with an optional accessory um, just by placing it down. Um, it looks it looks pretty handsome there in uh, in white, as you can see. It's got nice nice curved edges. Um, what they've tried to do here is uh, there's a small lip on the on the on the very edge there. It's actually quite difficult to see, but um, that actually blends the screen into the case itself there. So if we just look around the phone. Um, we have the standard buttons there. Um, we have the the volume rockers there at the top. In the center, we have the the power button there, and at the bottom, we have the you know standard Windows uh, Windows sort of compliant um, dedicated camera button. Um, if we just move around the phone to the top, at the top there we have a. Um, you know, an ordinary headphone jack, so you can plug your headphones in there. Um, Nokia have chosen uh, to go with Dolby headphone technology to enhance that sound. If you so wish, you can switch up off and on. Um, personally, I don't find it makes much difference to the sound. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it certainly makes it sound more spacious, but the output from the 820, from a sound perspective, is, is actually very good flat. It's, it's very good anyway. Um, at the back here, we have the 8 megapixel um, camera with the Carl Zeiss optics and if we just move to the very bottom there we have the, the standard micro USB charging and the slat at the bottom there is for the uh, the speakerphone output now it's actually quite easy um, to cover that over unlike um, a phone such as the, the Lumia 920 which has uh, sort of dual porting um, you can actually cover that over and it, and it will almost silence the the output but um, but it's fine it's fine nonetheless um, the screen uh, we have um, a nice big uh, 4.3 inch uh, AMOLED display there um, now some people do prefer AMOLED um, you certainly get very very rich blacks there and, and you also get a nice saturation on the colors. Um, unlike uh, a phone such as the Lumia 800, uh, the, phone, the actual colors on the 820 are, are not as saturated. Um, they, are, they are quite neutral, so they're not quite as um, intense as the 800. I will, I will put them side by side a bit later on there. The screen, unlike the 800 and the 920 isn't curved it's completely flat um, but that's that's absolutely fine um, it's it it feels very very good responsiveness is is excellent and you can see there it's a nice quick phone at the front there at the very top um, we have uh, obviously the ambient light sensor and also uh, you can see just about there you can see the the VGA resolution front facing camera uh, which is predominantly designed you know really just so you can uh, you can do the video calling with things like Skype it is VGA resolution it's it's not the best camera um, I've ever seen on a, on the front of a, a phone um, in low light conditions um, it can be very very grainy um, you know as you'd expect from a you know an old web a old webcam or something like that but in, in good light conditions is absolutely fine and if it's just for video calling it's going to serve uh, serve you pretty well there um, a phone a phone like the 920 is a uh, is is certainly going to give you a better front facing camera experience and also the HTC AX but uh, but it's it's certainly fine for most most uses okay so um the actual phone itself, uh, as I mentioned in the review, is is nice, nice rigid construction. You, it doesn't twist. It 
doesn't bend. I mean, the sound I'm making there, that's just my, the friction of my fingers across the, the body. It doesn't creak. It doesn't make any sort of untoward sounds and feels very, very solid. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to I'm actually going to show you how the, uh, the the cover comes off there. Um, I find the the best thing to do is to try to get in there with your finger now and on the other side there, and that will actually sort of bring the case slightly away at the top to allow you to start prising it apart. So at that point, you can just put your fingers there and just pull, and that's it, and you're in. Now initially, I'll be quite honest, um, I found it quite difficult to get the case off, but um, once you know how it works, it's, it's actually not that bad at all. Um, it just feels a bit uh, odd to start with. Um, so inside the device there, uh, we have the removable battery, so that's going to power off the device. Um, that's a 1650 mAh replaceable unit, so if you are worried that you're you're going to run out of a battery with a you know with a long day something like that then you can obviously put purchase a another unit and uh, and just keep that to one side fully charged yeah so if we look at the body of the device here you can see it's one continuous unit very well constructed it's nice and rigid and inside there we have the two slots there one for the sim card micro uh, micro sim card and we have the micro sd expansion slot just there um, in the, in my case um, i've got a 64 gig card in there um, that had some music on from a computer um, as soon as i put it into the lumia 820 uh, the music hub went off and indexed all the tracks and within a couple of minutes um, all 32 gigs worth of music that I put on there was available to play. So that was really nice and simple. There was nothing that I needed to do. I didn't need to navigate or you know, point the, uh, the phone in the right direction for the music. It just went through, looked at the card and found the music, which was, which was a nice touch. So that's the inside there. I'm just gonna quickly put that back together. There you go. Very much the same process works in reverse. Uh, just clip it in at the top. And there you go, and snap it together, and that's it. It's as it's as easy as that. Now I've done that lots and lots of times, and uh, I I don't have a problem with it. Um, just while that's booting up there, um, it's worth mentioning. Nokia haven't um, skimped on the the specifications internally uh, for the 820. It's a uh, it's a dual uh, 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon. CPU. It has a one gig gigabyte of system memory, and that really means that it's not compromised in terms of performance. It has enough memory to get on with its daily business, and you know, launching apps and multitasking and scrolling around the phone, all very easy, all very simple, and nice and responsive. So there we go. So we're booted back in there. So what I'll do now is um, I'll actually just uh, just for comparison show you uh, show you that phone against um, some of its its other you know brethren in the same range uh, next to it there we have the the Lumia 920 which I mean we all know is the the current flagship phone or hero device uh, from Nokia um, you can see the the 920 is a bit bigger in terms of its uh, its length, and here we go. We just put it side by side there, and you can see it's just ever so slightly, ever so slightly wider. Now that actually means that the 820 does actually feel very good in the hand. It, it does it does hold quite well, um, and as you can see, uh, let's just go in there. Screen responsiveness, very very similar. I mean, the eight, the the nine twenty definitely has an edge in terms of uh, the screen responsiveness, but uh, the eight twenty is no slouch either. 
Um, and just for comparison, um, in terms of comparing those co uh, those colors, um, both of these phones are using the same uh, the same scheme. There, uh, both using uh, black or the dark theme and uh, the cyan uh, the cyan colors. Um, it's quite clear uh, from here that it's it's not as deep on the Lumia 800. Uh, the blues are much much darker um, whereas on the 820 you can see they're much closer to what you would call cyan um, but uh, still nice deep blacks um, the 800 does have slightly deeper blacks than the 820 but it's very comparable uh, so that's an overview of the hardware um, really uh, when you first uh, switch on the device, um, it does come pre-installed with some third-party apps, where, which are worth mentioning. Uh, you'll get TripAdvisor, uh, you'll get eBay, and uh, you'll also get the trainline.com. I mean, I'm presuming you're going to get different um, pre-installed apps in different regions. I mean, I'm in the UK, and so the trainline.com is a very popular train booking website here, but you, you, know, you might get something different where you live. Um, also, you get the World of Red Bull application. That uh, that's actually very, very good, uh, and that's worth having. I mean, that's a uh, it's a it's a really nice app. It works really, really well on uh, Windows Phone 8. There we go. Nice and responsive. You get all kinds of extreme sports goodness if you're into that kind of stuff. It certainly showcases, uh, you know. Windows Phone 8, uh, it's nice and smooth, um, nice and responsive, and uh, you know it's got voice control, that kind of stuff. So that's worth having on there. As well as that, you'll you'll get the phone pre-installed with Nokia Drive. Um, Nokia Transport um, wasn't available, I don't think, at the time of launch. So you'd need to just head to the store and go and download that. Um, but you also get City Lens, and uh, down the bottom there, you, that's uh, that's just Local Scout. That's part of. Windows Phone. Um, so that's a, a quick overview of the the Lumia 820. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. I really like it. Um, I think it's a it's a great mid-range device. Um, it's certainly preferable to using a Windows Phone 7.5 device. Um, if you're an enthusiast uh, that wants a really super duper camera that's going to work in low light conditions then you know the Lumia 920 is probably going to be for you um, the camera performance on here is very very good um, it does handle uh, low light photographs well enough um, and, and daylight photographs are very good um, it does a 1080p recording and uh, it's a very nice handset um, you know you've got the exchangeable uh, covers so if it does start to wear out over time you can uh, you can swap those out with a nice new one and uh, refresh your phone's look. And uh, if you're a you know a media junkie uh, and you uh, you have tons of music, uh, then you can just go out buy yourself a a 64 gig expansion card and uh, and fill your boots. Really, um, it's uh, it's it's certainly going to be really good for people that are going to take lots and lots of photographs and not want to sort of uh, ever miss a moment. Things like that. So. If you're in the market for a Windows Phone 8 device, then uh, give the Lumia 820 a look. Thanks for watching, guys.